Hi, this is Jack Stanley. <clears throat> I wanted to talk about Chauncey Depew. Chauncey Depew is an individual who's been very much lost to our history. He becomes a footnote here and there. However, he was quite a remarkable monologist. He was a great speaker. He spoke in superlatives. He had a very ornate style of talking. He's a very unique individual. I mean, he is an individual born in the 1830s who was on intimate terms with every president from Abraham Lincoln all the way up to Calvin Coolidge. It's pretty amazing when you think about it. But this gentleman always spoke at various conventions and whatever. And one of the fun things, and there again, this is a great story. I can't substantiate the total fact of this story, but it sounds like a good one. And I heard this story in 1982, which is, what, 32 years ago, from another historian who told me the story. So I'll go with his story. But I'll offer that uh, warning beforehand that I cannot substantiate. It seems at a stag dinner, which means all men, Chauncey Depew was introducing the President of the United States. And in 1910, the President of the United States was William Howard Taft. Now, President Taft was 350 pounds of president, a remarkable individual with a remarkable sense of humor. And Chauncey Depew introduced him thusly. He said at this dinner that President Taft is pregnant with honor that he is pregnant with dignity and that it was Mr. Depew's serene pleasure to introduce President William Howard Taft. Well, William Howard Taft had a wicked sense of humor and when he lumbered up to the lectern, all 350 pounds of him, he answered, Chauncey Depew's introduction this way. He said, after patting his ample bulk, he said, if it is a boy, I will name him Honor. If it is a girl, I will name her Dignity. However, if it is only gas, I will name it Chauncey Depew. Well, I must say that Chauncey Depew never introduced anyone as pregnant again. But obviously, Chauncey Depew was a very famous individual. He, he was very much involved with Grand Central Station. He was in, involved with the Vanderbilts. Of course, he sat there with Lincoln one day. And an interesting story about him and Lincoln was that he was sitting there and he joined all the people in the room with Lincoln and everybody wanted something. And finally, Lincoln looked at, you, at him and said, Well, sir, what do you want? And, he, and Chauncey Depew said, I don't want anything. I just wanted to wish my good feelings towards you. And Lincoln said, stay. And after he cleaned out the room, he said, Lincoln pulled up his legs, wrapped him around his arms, and rocked back and forth and talked to him for a while. Chauncey Depew, of course, told him what was going on in New York and hoped to see the president again. Went back up and, of course, by the time he had a chance to come back, Lincoln was dead. Chauncey Depew is a fascinating individual. He lived until the late 1920s. He lived long enough 
to make a Vitaphone motion picture recording. Think about that. He also made Berliner gramophone discs. I've often thought about that, that if I was ever able to get one, and I have not had the opportunity yet to hear the voice of Chauncey Depew, that if indeed, through some chance and some miracle, that Lincoln could have heard a Berliner gramophone disc of Chauncey Depew, it would be a voice he would recognize. How many times can we honestly say that recordings were made of individuals of whom Lincoln would recognize the voice? Well, nonetheless, Chauncey Depew is a fascinating character. I do recommend that you learn more about him. One last, thing, one last story about him, if I may add, it was late in Depew's career, and he was at a dinner party, and the lovely and vivacious soprano, Mary Garden, was there. And Mary Garden was famous for wearing gowns that were strapless. And Chauncey Depew said the wrong thing, but that seemed to be his way at times. He said, Madam Garden, what keeps that dress up? Mary Garden looked at him and said, Your age and my discretion. That was enough of that. But Chauncey Depew lived to be 94 years of age. He lived long in years, long in reputation, and long in the history of the United States.